Hello, hello, welcome. My name is Kipoi and on this YouTube channel, I talk about microbes and biological cells in the Gekoyu language. Now, if you're listening to this video, maybe you want to know, why do you do this? Well, you're in the right place to find out because this is a whole video that explains exactly that. There are four main reasons why I make these videos. And the first is to practice my speaking of my mother tongue, Gekoyu. Number two is to learn more vocabulary that will enable me to talk about science and technical subjects. The whole reason why I do this on a public platform is so that I can learn from a wide variety of audience members. In fact, just the other day I found this Wikipedia entry that said Shiumbeshia Mingini or Mingini Shiumbe is the way that you describe microorganism. And so from reading this entry and from some corroboration from a listener on this very platform, I I learned that that word is what you use to describe a microorganism. And so I would love to be able to learn different words in this way. And one thing I noticed is that whoever it is that's been editing these words seems to have paused a little bit. So I would love to build this platform more so that I can encourage whoever it was to keep updating it. I think in the future it would be great to see more African languages on digital platforms like these because I think it is very important for us to include all our different languages as we grow and as we develop and as we learn more about our world. And so I think spending time building this digital infrastructure that has all of our languages is a pretty worthwhile effort. So I guess this is my second reason is I would like to learn different words and I want to encourage people who are curating and building these digital platforms to continue doing so. Reason number three is to encourage more scientists to talk about science topics in their mother tongues, especially in African languages. Again, African languages are really important and we have to use them in order to help them to grow and develop alongside us. And so this means to actively translate all sorts of topics and content into African languages and vice versa. There are some critics who think that speaking African languages somehow will make you less competitive in the quote unquote modern modern world. To that, I gently challenge these critics to consider that people can speak multiple languages and that there are many benefits to multilingualism. I can't speak for anyone really, but what I can say is that from what I've read, most proponents of African languages are rarely, if ever, telling you to give up Western globalized languages. What they're telling you not to do is to not abandon or diminish your mother tongue. That's all, and I really hope that I can encourage you to also consider that. And reason number four is that all living organisms are made of cells, and there are organisms that are made up of many cells, like us, or just one cell, like many, many microbes. If you look at this tree, which organizes all living things based on their relationship to each other, you see that animals are only one of many organisms there. Hopefully you can see a black arrow that's pointing at animals. If you look on that picture, you will also see bacteria, which are a big family of organisms. Now usually, when we think about organisms like bacteria, it's usually in the context of disease. Like you might have heard of the bacteria called Vibrio cholera, which is one of the ones, or the primary one, that gives us the disease cholera, which if you look at it under the microscope, it looks like this. Or H. pylori, which is on the left on this zoomed in microscope picture. The one on the right is another type of bacteria that's from the same family called Helicobacter phalis, and that's a very different bacteria. I should say that usually these images have a scale bar that can help you understand how big it is. This one does not, but what I can tell you is that microbes tend to be around the size of a few microns, and one micron is one millionth of a meter. So one meter divided a million times, that's one million. Anyway, what I'm trying to say here when I show you these pictures is to say that usually we think of bacteria that make us, when we hear the word bacteria, we think of the ones that make us sick. And while those are important to understand, there are so many different ones out there. And so back to this tree, there are many, many organisms that exist on this earth with us and studying them and understanding them is important for us to understand our world. And so that's why this topic matters. I think that was the real point of this whole little like ramble is to try and explain to you why this topic matters. 
and why I talk about it here. So yeah, I hope I have convinced you that microbes matter and that cells matter, primarily because a cell is the fundamental unit of life. So many of the organisms that are on this picture, they just have one cell, but then organisms like plants and animals, they have many cells. And so that is kind of how this all ties together. Those are the four reasons why I have this channel and why I'm here. I hope that this has been useful to help you understand what I'm doing here and what my aim is. And so now on to some frequently asked questions. Question number one. So not everyone speaks Gekoyo. How do you plan to be more inclusive? So I have been doing my best to include subtitles in either English or Kiswahili or both for everything that I put up. So I will do my best to keep up with that. If I do forget, please write a note in the comments and I will get it done. Another question that I have been asked before is whether I can help with a specific disease. And because I am not a medical doctor, I cannot. And actually that makes me remember that I should also say that nothing on this channel really constitutes any type of medical advice. So yeah, unfortunately I cannot help with diseases and illnesses. Another question that I have heard is why did I choose or why did you choose to study cell and molecular biology? And so the answer to this is I have always been fascinated by bacteria and how they function in our bodies. Um, as I say in many of my videos, all of our organs and our body systems are made of cells and they all work like little factories to keep us alive. And so the mystery of biology is how all of these things work with each other. Inside all the cells are molecules that have very, very specific and interesting functions. And so I love those as well. And I remember when I was very, very small, there was actually a doctor and I think she was at Nairobi Hospital and her name was Dr. Nantulia and she would always answer my questions in remarkable detail and I remember many many tens of years later because it's been many many years I remember how patiently she would describe the structure of the lung and how coughing was the way that our body was trying to get rid of dust and bacteria and other contaminants she went into detail and I appreciate that so much because I've always been curious about microbes and cells and how our bodies work for honestly as long as I can remember. And so I would like to share that curiosity and wonder here with you. So yeah, I hope that you learned something here and that my being here helps to stoke some type of curiosity and wonder about the cellular world and the molecular world. Okay. One more question. Um, what is your Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, social media handle? So right now I am not on any type of social media. Um, if I ever find my way there, I will update this platform. But in the meantime, you'll want to leave a comment or subscribe. Actually, you want to subscribe just in general. But if you have a specific question, leave a comment. Um, you can also feel free to email me using the email that is listed in the contact part of this channel. I will do my best to respond. Um, yeah, that is how you can find me because yeah, I'm not on any of those other platforms. I think we have now reached the end of this video. I thank you so much for listening if you made it here. If you have any more questions, ask in the comments and have a great rest of the day or evening or morning or wherever this finds you. Alright, bye.